Hi Year 4, it's Mrs Price here. It's lovely to see you again. See you looking so well. We have another spelling video to go through today. Oh, I've got some lovely activities for you to do to help you learn those spellings. Now, I'm going to keep you in suspense to wait until the end of the video to see who those Spelling Shed champions are. So if you know you've been on lots this week, well done. And it could be you. Keep tuned in. Okay, so the first activity I would like you to do to warm those brains up, have a look at these words because I have taken the vowels out. These are some of your spellings from last week. Can you work out what the missing vowels are? And can you write the words? Pause the video now. Right, so here are the words with the vowels in them, which of course are A, E, I, O and U. So we add history, business, peculiar and notice. I hope you spotted them. Well done. OK, so here we've got our learning objective for this week, which is to spell words from the year three and four word list. Some of you may notice that that learning objective is just the same as it was last week. We do have 109 spellings to learn, but then you did start in year three, so you should be nearly on the way to knowing them all if you don't already. OK, so I'm going to choose some of these spellings for, you to, for us to have a look at together. And then it'll be your task to practice the ones that you don't know. And I'm going to show you some different ways that you can practice those spellings, OK? And you'll find some that suit you better than others because some of us learn by looking at the word really closely. Some of us will remember how the word sounds and other people will remember a mnemonic to help them. So whatever works for you, try keep going with that method. So here's the year three and four word list, but I've also attached this to the email which the parents had emailed out to them. So you can have a look on there or you can print it off. It's a really useful thing to have because all the spellings are there. So another method that you can use to help you learn your spellings is to look for words within the words. So I've got the word important here and when I looked at it really closely I could see three parts to that word. Can you spot them too? We've got im, okay, we've got port where ships come in, port and we've got ant. So im, port, ant, three separate parts, three syllables in that word. Okay, our next spelling today is separate. Okay, and I've actually separated separate, broken it down into three parts, into three syllables to help you remember how to spell it. This is a word which lots of people, even grown-ups, can spell wrong because when you say it, separate, that letter sounds as if it should be an E. OK, so don't be fooled into thinking that's an E. It's R in the middle. So sep R rate. OK, if you separate something, you break it up. OK, you have to separate an egg before you make meringue. Separate the yolks from the white. So sep R eight. OK, that's the tricky bit in the middle. OK, the third spelling that we're going to look at off the list is particular. OK, that's a certain one, a special one. So I've looked at this word and I've noticed that at the start of particular, I can see the word part. So I've broken it, I said part, ik, you, la. OK, so you could break the word down like that. What I'd like you to do now is to pause the video and to have a go at practicing those three spellings. Okay, can you look at them? Can you cover them? And can you write them? Off you go. OK, 
Okay, the fourth spelling is special. And special, I've made a mnemonic up for a little rhyme to help me remember it. You can perhaps have a go at making up your own mnemonic. But the one I've made up is special people enjoy camping in a lighthouse. Gosh, I think that would be a special thing to do, camp in a lighthouse. Okay, so special people enjoy camping in a lighthouse. Special. It's got the tricky bit here in the middle where it's a C, but it sounds as if it should be an S. So be careful with that part. Okay, so I've written down the rest of this week's spellings. Um, so let's have a look at these. We've got knowledge, okay, and I've broken that down into the two syllables, no ledge. Okay, we've got experience, okay. Ex be okay. Exercise again, exercise, recent, recent, and medicine, medicine. Okay, so perhaps breaking those words down into the syllables will help you to have more of an idea of how to spell them. Okay, so can you now write yourselves a list in your book of your spellings for this week? Okay, another fun activity that you can do to practice your spellings, but do ask a grown up first, is I've got some flour and I'm going to write the spellings in the flour. But if you've got a sand tray at home, then that's another good thing that you can use. Okay, but I haven't got a sand tray. So I'm going to practice particular. And if you're not sure of it, you can copy. Keep your spelling there to copy. Tick. And then I can't fit the U-lar on, so I'm going to do that underneath. Pa, tick, U-lar. And give it a shake. And then I'm going to have a go at experience as well. So E, X, P, P, E, R, I, E, N, C, E. Okay. Right, so the next spelling activity we're going to think about today is called roll the dice. And if you look at the board carefully, you can see that depending on the number that you roll on the dice, you have to practice your spelling in certain ways. So if you roll a one, you have to write with the other hand, the one you don't normally write with. If you roll a two, you have to write your spelling in dots. If you roll a three, you have to write the word as fast as you can. A four, you have to write in your neatest handwriting. Five, you have to write with both eyes closed. And six, you have to write your word in capitals. Okay, so choose the word that you are gonna have a go at spelling and we'll play this game. So now we're gonna have a go at playing the roll the dice game. I'm going to practice the spelling special, and you're going to practice... Recent. Lovely. So, I'll roll the dice first. Six. Okay, so six is write the word in capitals. So, special. S-P-E-C-I-A-L. Special. Okay, your turn. Here we go. You've got a six too. Oh. So you got go. to recent. write recent in capital letters. You can play this by yourself or you can play it with family members. Teddies are also quite useful for this game, I find. Brilliant. So my go again. I wonder what number I'm gonna get this time. I fancy number one, really. Oh, and I have got a one. Gosh. Okay, writing it with my other hand. So I'm right-handed, so I'm going to be writing it with my left. 
oh gosh, S. I'm going to try and jot, oh dear, P, E, C, I, A, gosh. It's a good job Mrs Price hasn't broken her right arm, so I'm not mm. sure you'll be able to read what I'm writing. Okay, I wonder what number cool. you're going to Here get. Here we go. Roll the dice. Five. Five. Oh. Both eyes closed. Oh. No cheating. So recent. If you open your eyes, I think you'll be quite impressed with your writing. That mm. looks really quite neat. Not bad. Well done. So this is a game that you can play with your family and have lots of fun with. Okay, the next game we're going to play is another way to practice your spellings. We've got all the spelling words in the middle of the table. We don't know where they are. And I'm, Chloe, are you going to choose one first? Yes. So choose a word. Don't look at it and put it on your forehead. And I'm going to give you a clue so you can guess what your word is. Okay, this is something that you do to keep fit. Can you work out what it could be? Exercise? Exercise. Can you spell exercise? Um, e X E R C I S E. Do you want to check to see if you're right? Woo! Well done. Now it's my turn. Okay, I'm going to choose this one. Can you give me a clue about my word? Okay, so it's something you take when you're poorly. Something you take when you're poorly. Medicine? Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, so I think it's spelled M-E-D-I-C-I-N-E. -I -I -E. Shall I check? I check to see if I'm right? Oops, dropped it. M-E-D-I-C-I-N-E. -I -I -E. Medicine. This is another game that you can play with your family at home. Pop your spellings in the middle of the table and then take it in turns to choose one of them. Okay, the next activity I'm going to show you is where you write the consonants in one colour and the vowels in another. So I pop the vowels up on the board just to remind myself of what they are. So my vowels I'm going to write in green and my consonants I'm going to write in red. So I'm going to start with the word important. Now that starts with a vowel because it starts with I. So it's I in green. M, P, then I've got the O as in vowel. R, T, and then A. NT. Okay, so that's the word important. I'm going to choose another word. I'm going to go for knowledge this time. So knowledge starts with a K. So that's, oh no, not green, it's red. So K, K N, and then we've got the O. So that's a vowel. The W. L, and then E is a vowel, and then D, G, and another E. Okay, so my vowels are in green and my consonants are in red. You can choose different colours to have a go at that. Another activity that you can do is to see if you can find the value of each of your spelling words. I've got here, I've copied out all the Scrabble letters and I've put the values under each letter. Okay, so I'm going to take each of our spellings. I'm going to start with separate. I'm going to copy it down onto here. I'm going to leave a gap between them because I need to be able to write my numbers underneath. So an S is worth one point, an E is also worth one point, P is worth three, 
and A is worth 1, R is worth 1, all the popular letters aren't worth as many points, T is worth 1 and E is worth 1. So if we add those up, we can see what the value is of the word separate. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 and 3, 10. Okay, so we know that separates worth 10 points. Now let's have a look at medicine to see if that is worth more or less points. I think it's got the same number of letters. Let's have a quick count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I've copied down medicine. We know that both words have got the same number of letters. Let's see which is worth the most points. So an M is worth three, oops, and E we know is worth one, the vowels are all worth one, D is worth two, and I is one, C is three, I is one, N is one, and an E is one as well. So let's add those up to see what they equal. Three and three is six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so we know that medicine is worth more points than separate. Can you keep going through all your spellings, working out the value and let me know which of those words is worth the most points? Perhaps you can order them, starting with the word, word the spelling worth the most points, down to the one that's worth the least. Attached to the email this week is a word search that you might like to print off and have a go at doing. That's a fun way to practice your spellings too. So for your last activity today, here are each of your spelling words. As you can see, they've got a little bit muddled up. So can you please copy them out correctly into your book? Pause the video now. So how did you get on? You can check your own to see if you got them correct. So now it's the time that you have been waiting for, the time that we find out who those Spelling Shed champions are for this week. Now, the top class this week, I'm very pleased with this one. It's 4EP, well done. And in second place, we've got 4M. So you were both in the top 10 in the whole school, those two classes, so well done. Third place, 4B and fourth place 4S. Four okay, now the out of those classes, the top person in 4EP was George P. Well done, George. And in 4M, it was AJB. Well done, AJ. In 4B, it was Ella M. Well done, Ella. And in 4S, it was Caden P. So very well done. I think I've heard lots of those names before, so well done to those people. But the top person in the whole of year four this week was George P. So very big well done to you, George. Okay, and if you haven't been on for a while, make sure you have a go this week. Your spellings will be there.